Welcome to Heath Rouse Barbecue. On today's episode of Shooting the Q, we're going to be cooking Cheshire Farms Boston Butts on the Outlaw Patio Smoker with our Flavor Fusion Bundle of Pecan and Sweet Rub. Let's get started. All right, now that we've got our Boston butt dried off here, we're gonna take this butt and I'm gonna do a little bit of minimal trimming on it. So I wanna start with a little bit of this fat right here on top of the money muscle. I'm gonna get some of that off and see it don't take much there. So in a competition trim, we could honestly just keep going down at that and easing that money muscle down that we get what we want. We've got a nice round circle, but I'm not cooking comp pork today. I just wanna trim a little bit of these fat off in this fat vein. And I'm not gonna remove this fat cap here. I'm actually gonna cook this fat up to where it can like drip down on the butt as it cooks on the outlaw and help protect it coming across there. I love this what we call bacon underneath the fat cap here. And now the only thing I wanna do is get some mustard on it for a binder. You can use olive oil or anything you'd like, avocado oil, anything. You spritz it with water if you want. I'm just out of the Memphis circuit what I grew up on, I'm gonna use a little bit of mustard. Now, now that I've got my mustard applied, I'm gonna go ahead and get some dry rub on it. All right, now remember, I'm gonna be using my sweet and savory fusion bundle on my website on this butt, keeping it simple on the outlaw. I'm gonna first start with a little bit of pecan rub and then come back with a little sweet rub. You could never go wrong with this pecan rub. It does not have any nuts in it. It's just a flavoring that we use, so you're not gonna have to worry about nut allergies or anything like that. Now just a little bit on there, pat it in. I'm gonna come back with a little bit of my OG sweet rub. All right, now we're gonna let that get sweated in. We're gonna get it on the outlaw. Now that we've got our Cheshire Farms Boston butt rubbed down, I'm gonna go ahead and get my outlaw patio smoker fired up. I'm gonna use some roll oak briquettes, light it with some tumbleweeds, let it go, and then put some mini hickory splits on it. You can see now that I've got a nice thing of charcoal poured in it, about half a bag. I'm gonna take my ash pan and take a few tumbleweeds kind of piled up there. I'm gonna light these. I'm just saying just slide them under. All right, now that we've got our Outlaw running at almost 275, it's coming on up. I'm gonna go ahead and get this butt on fat side up. Now, you've seen me cooking other videos, fat side down, fat side up. It just kind of depends on what you're cooking on and how you wanna do it. Make this recipe your own. You don't have to follow anybody directly. It's just the way I like cooking. I do it my way. So I'm gonna get it on my Outlaw, about middle ways of the rack there. Get it turned where that smoke can come over that fat cap and it can kind of self-baste itself. I'm gonna get it on, get my grill stabilized, and keep her going good, 275 degrees. All right, we're ready to wrap our Boston butt here on the Outlaw Grill. It's hitting about 140 degrees, and we're running our sweet rub and our pecan rub on this. I'm gonna wrap in a little bit of my usual, a little bit of vinegar sauce. I got a little bit of foil laid here. I take these tools here a buddy of mine made us. Get it off, it's got a nice, good mahogany color. Gonna get a little bit of vinegar sauce poured over that. Keeping it simple. Got some good traditional flavors going on with it. And I just wanna get her wrapped up. We get it wrapped up tight, we're gonna get it back on. Get a probe in it, get it to about 200 degrees, it'll be probe tender. Our Boston butt is off of our Outlaw patio model. Had a total cook time of a little over six hours and then we let it rest an hour. We used our sweet and our pecan rubs and hickory wood splits on the top of bed of roll oak charcoal. All we did was let it go. We spritzed it about every hour. We added wood every 30 minutes. We wrapped it up after about four hours and then we've let it go really about three and a half and then we've let it go about two and a half hours to get tender and we've let it rest. So like I said, this is gonna be a really good butt. We're just making pulled pork with it. All right, so let's get it out of the pan and get it pulled on our cutting board.
All right, we've got our pulled pork all shredded. I'm ready to make a pulled pork sandwich my way. So I'm gonna start. I don't get a big jumbo bun just because I want my meat to bun ratio to be right. So I get these regular, just cheap buns. I'm gonna go ahead and pile some pulled pork on this sandwich here. And I don't wanna overcrowd it, but I wanna be able to taste the pork, all right? Now, the only other thing left to do, I'm gonna take these gloves off. And my wife has made up a little coleslaw recipe here that we're gonna put the link down in the description below and we'll flash it up on the screen. So we're gonna put a little bit of coleslaw on here, not a lot, just a little bit. And a little bit of my vinegar barbecue sauce because there's nothing wrong with a pulled pork sandwich with some vinegar sauce. Drizzle that over, real thin coated like that. Now once I get it up here, I gotta put that top bun on, mash it on, and it's time to eat. We got our pulled pork sandwich made. Let's get in here. Now I'm gonna hunch up right here over this cutting board. And I'm gonna get in here and take a man-sized bite. Probably got it all over me. Damn, that is good. I don't know no other way to put it. That is a killer sandwich. I will be finishing this. If you like what we're doing on our channel, be sure to like and subscribe. Follow us along on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and now TikTok at Heath Rouse BBQ. Thanks for watching.